The Do Not Pay app is best known for handling parking ticket disputes, small claims court. Now it's offering help getting through the unemployment filing maze for free for people like Cindy, who emailed, you can't get an answer through unemployment phone lines. The app gets your information, turns it into a paper form, and mails or faxes it to unemployment offices during off-peak hours where it can more easily go through. It'll also ask you for social security numbers, bank account, and other personal information, but they say all is erased after the process. The usual $3 a month service is free for unemployment help right now. From unemployment concerns to paying property taxes, the county treasurer's office wanting to give you more time to pay. Simply to move the delinquent date back 30 days. I don't think that's a lot to, to ask, and that would provide a lot of relief for families that are struggling. He's Maricopa County Treasurer Royce Flora. On May 1st, property owners start facing penalties for not paying the second installment of their property taxes, which were due in March. Flora says he and the 14 other county treasurers in the state want to move that delinquent date back until June 1st. You lose a little bit of interest earnings and revenue, but not enough to, to in my opinion, to really impact anything. Flora says a 30-day delay wouldn't impact school, fire district funding, or anything really, but he says he can't get lawmakers to even consider the idea. When the legislature never came back with an official response, we went to the governor. He says no response from the governor either, so the office put this out to taxpayers, calling on them to ask legislators to help make the move. We're not talking about a lot of money okay. for government, but for the individual, that's the difference between getting their medication, getting food on their table. We contacted the Senate President's office and the Governor's office. Nothing from the Senator in time for error, but the Governor's office said in part the request to change would require action by the Arizona legislature, but they did not say whether they would ask for that action. Maybe you can get their attention. Go to kgun9.com. I've got links to offices there and to the Do Not Pay app. I'm Investigator Joe Ducey. If you got a problem, let me know.